After watching National Front leader Marine Le Pen being interviewed on France 2 last night, many dual nationals in France are now worried they'll be forced to give up one of their passports if she becomes president. They listened as Le Pen outlined a policy where dual citizens from non-European countries would be forced to make a choice. Uh, donc, uh, moi, je suis... I'm against dual nationality outside Europe, so I'll ask people to choose their nationality. But that doesn't mean that if they do not choose French nationality, that they'll have to leave France. When pressed on which nationalities would be considered European, she stated that Russians would be, but that Americans and Israelis, for example, would not. There are only estimates of how many dual citizens live in France, one of which is about 3.3 million. That's because dual citizens are not required by law to report their other nationality to the state. Le Pen linked her policy to the economy, saying that French citizens would be prioritised when it came to getting employment. The unemployment rate in France stands at around 10%, about double that of Britain, and along with immigration, is a key election issue. Dual citizenship in France is acquired either by naturalisation, after at least five years of residence, or by marrying a French citizen, or at birth, if one of the parents is a dual citizen or a foreign national. In 2013, 38,000 people became dual citizens, most of them from North Africa, and many from Europe, but also, of course, people from all over the world. Being European, the first group on the left would keep their dual citizenship, whereas the nationalities on the right – Congo, Israel, Morocco, Tunisia, Algeria – are a few of those that would not. As the law stands at the moment, dual citizens can only be stripped of their French nationality if they've harmed the interests of the nation or they've been convicted of a terrorist offence.